since my theory, as yet unproven, of course, is that it's accomplished simply by blowing, though rather cleverly, I must admit, done, there should be a way, a simple way, without a lot of instrumentation, to demonstrate that fact by using one very simple control. Now, uh, let me just emphasize that this one control will not stop him from turning the page of the telephone directory, That's right. but you hope to the judge's satisfaction will demonstrate that he is doing it with his breath. That's correct. All right. Now what I have here is particles of a white plastic, which when given a good puff, good heavy puff of air, will, I think, rather conclusively show whether or not blowing is a method accomplished. Now it will not, perhaps, in some way, differentiate between genuine psychic power and actual blowing. But it certainly should be very interesting indeed to see what now occurs. Well, do you maintain that if the page of the telephone direct returns that we will see movement in the styrofoam as well? I think that it's pretty logical. We've experimented with it, Bob, and that's what we have determined in the experiments. Very well. Are you ready to proceed? I am indeed. Judges, you're ready? James? Ready. This time, how many, how many pages? More. Just one page, once. This time and once more. Now, James, you had another question. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? What would you like okay. to ask? Okay. The styrofoam and the lights form electricity which pulls the page. Look. It pulls the page down instead of freeing the pages. All right, and uh, what would you like to ask us to ask Randy to allow you to do or for me to, to do? To either take something else, either lighter or something that is going to keep, that isn't going to form like static electricity. You mean put something else, some other material around something here? Something that is not foam. Foam causes static electricity and the light is what heats it up. All right, Randy, is there anything else that you can put around the telephone directory? I've heard the question, but the question is not valid because it's making an assumption which is not true. The foam does not in any way create static electricity, and Mr. Heydrich, in demonstrating that the pages were clinging together, didn't demonstrate it to my satisfaction. I think uh, we could perhaps ask the judges for their opinion on that. I am not a scientist, so I'm not qualified to declare on it. Judges? Whatever static electricity exists in the styrofoam would not really affect the movement of the page or the clinging of the pages together in my opinion. I would, I would add that if this is in fact psychic functioning, I don't really see why that would make a difference. Very well. Randy, would you allow me to turn perhaps half a dozen pages and then put them back? Uh, oh yes, you may do that, please. That, James, I'll just lift up one, two. Lift them in a bunch if you would, uh, Bob. Just take about a quarter of an inch of them. All right, there, place like them. that? That's fine. Gently place them down gently so it doesn't disturb the foam. I know. Uh, well, oh, I thought you. Oh, wanted the other to place way. Them. Yeah, the other way. That's what I thought you meant. Would that sure be helpful to you? The static is going to still be here because of the foam. See, that's well, what I'm Well, it saying. is the opinion of the judges that there is not enough static formed by the the foam to be a problem. So, uh, under the conditions agreed upon, it uh, would seem that now you should 
at least try with psychic power to turn the page of the telephone directory, James. Okay. It's not going to uh, turn for you? No, it isn't. Well, have you reached the point then when, uh, at, at which we can declare the demonstration terminated? This isn't a magician's trick. I can't just come up, bang, bang, and it's over. I have to be to where I can work with something small and then big, you know, to build up my own self. So this well, is, you know, the, it isn't uh, a trick. It has to be done, you know, this is just, it's power. It's, it's mental power. The conditions agreed upon have been fulfilled mm -hmm. and of course we can't change the conditions now in midstream so in the opinion of our judges here you have not seen a demonstration of psychic power have you yes that's correct you have not and randy uh obviously james has not won the ten thousand dollars with this demonstration so it seems now you have heard what uh, james's explanation is do you have any comment to make on that? Bob, the, the comment very briefly is that I have gone through many hundreds of these tests with many hundreds of people who claim to have psychic powers. And quite frankly, it's more or less the same story every time. When a simple, direct, very uncomplicated protocol is used and the control is applied, the psychic forces don't seem to be present, if indeed they are ever present at all. I still look for some sort of evidence of psychic powers. To date, I have not found any up to this very moment. I am still totally unconvinced. Judges, do you have any further comment to make? You agree that you have not seen a psychic demonstration? Uh, yes, I, I would agree that I have not seen a psychic demonstration. Uh, I would like to say that as a parapsychologist, I believe that there are uh, other evidence under, under control conditions that do uh, demonst demonstrate, I would think, to a reasonable person that psychic phenomena do exist, yes. but uh, obviously not in this, in this uh, demonstration. I want to thank you very much. Thank you so much. You, Ladies and gentlemen, James Heydrich. Before I say goodbye to you, Randy, I do indeed appreciate the fact that you joined us on That's My Line, Dr. Palmer, Dr. Drake, Dr. Markman. Thank you so much. Thank you, Randy. We'll be back after these challenging messages. Now, what you saw just before that commercial was an edited version of Randy's challenge. James Heydrich was actually given 30 minutes to demonstrate his psychic powers, and we showed you just the highlights. Randy believes Mr. Heydrich accomplished the feat originally by blowing on the pages, and here's Randy demonstrating that technique. 